Hi everyone, I'm Laura. Welcome back to my channel. The video that you're about to watch was filmed in February 2020 when me and my boyfriend went on a trip to Naples, Italy, and we filmed this video to show everyone what they can eat in Naples if they want to eat vegan. But then the global health crisis came and everything changed. And I ended up not uploading the video in March when I was planning to because I thought that it would be insensitive. But we can travel now if we stay safe. And I know that many of you are going to go to Italy. And I wanted to show you everything that you can eat in Naples and in the Amalfi Coast area. So yeah, I'm really proud of this video and I really wanted to show you the amazing food that we had. And it was February, so that's why I'm wearing a coat in this video. So if you're interested, you can continue watching this video. Please be respectful in the comments. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my daily life and of the food that I eat. You can subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you like the content that I'm making, you can become a patron of this channel and you can join my free Facebook group. All of the links are in the description. And make sure to watch the whole video because I saved the best for last. So so yeah, you can go and watch the video now. Bye. See you at the end. For our first lunch, we went to Officina Vegana and we ordered two paninis. We didn't know they were going to be so huge. I went for the frittata and potato filling and my boyfriend went for the tempeh filling and they were amazing. In Centro Storico, we went to Angelo for a coffee and a little snack. It's a great place if you're walking around the old town and you want to take a break and grab something sweet to eat. We got two soy cappuccinos and a croissant with raspberry jam and that was a very good choice. Later we went to dinner in Tiro a Santa Lucia. This place was recommended to us and let's be real, when you go to Naples, everybody has their own favorite local pizza place. So instead of going to a touristy spot, we decided to go to Tiro a Santa Lucia and our marinara napolitana was on point. Remember that unless the place has vegan cheese, you can always go for a marinara and it's going to be vegan and it's still going to be delicious. I'm just popping in here to tell you that if you'd like to recreate any of these classic Italian dishes in a vegan version, you should definitely check out Vicoco. Vicoco is the first online vegan cooking school where you can learn from professional chefs how to cook amazing vegan food. There are new courses added every two months and with the membership, you get access to all of them and you can learn at your own pace. The thing I love the most about Vicoco is that these are authentic experienced chefs teaching you authentic regional traditional recipes i'm inspired to try all of these dishes out and if you are as well you can go to vicoco.com laura to get your 14 day free trial and if you want to sign up for the membership you will get a 10 percent discount forever and it will be added on automatically so go to vicoco.com laura the link is in the description box below. When we were going to Positano from the Garibaldi station, we didn't have anything to eat. But luckily, a cafe next to the ticket office had vegan croissants on offer. They were filled with apricot jam and were seriously delicious. If you're anywhere in Italy where you can find Natura Si, go there and stock up on some vegan products. Whenever we're in Italy, we always head to Natura Si for some vegan ragu or plant milks. And it's not an all vegan store, but it has the largest number of vegan options that you can find in a chain store. So go ahead and check Natura Si out because it's probably going to be your go-to place for some vegan foods. We went to Sbuccia Bevi for lunch. They have a selection of sandwiches and lunch options and we went for a veggie wrap and a mac vegan plus two soy cappuccinos. For dessert we went for a millet cheesecake whose Italian name escapes me and it's a traditional regional 
cheesecake type dessert in Naples during the carnival. The last place I need to tell you about is Milk Away. It is the first vegan pastry shop in Naples and what they offer is unique in every sense of the word. We went there three times, three days in a row, and we would have gone there four times if they hadn't been closed on Mondays. Anyway, what you can get there is just a sweet dream. Their original recipes will blow you away, like Eclipse or the pancakes or the Milk Away mess, and everything is made in the house. Take a look on this vegan baba, which is a regional dessert of Naples. You won't miss out on anything. They also have some savory options, but honestly, go there and just splurge on everything. I've been vegan for three years now and I've never been to a place like Milk Away. Plus, the two sisters who own Milk Away are super nice and chatty and they recommended the pizza place to us that you saw earlier. So you cannot miss Milk Away if you're in Naples. If you do, you will regret it. But if you go there, you will go straight to heaven. I kid you not. It's amazing. Check it out immediately once you get to Naples. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more vegan travel videos like this one, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I post. Also, comment down below which place you would like to go to in Naples. Remember to check out Vicoco as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!